있습니다. 비스밀라 라흐마니 라힘 You have to understand everything has a creator. Love has a creator too. You are not the one who is creating love. Allah is the creator of love. So when you are saying that you love Allah, it is Allah who has created that love for him and put it inside of you. So who in return, who in reality is asking for the love? You or Allah? You're saying you're a servant of Allah. What do you do? How are we going to serve Allah? How? How are we going to serve Allah? You're going to bring him some water? Astaghfirullah. What are you going to do? Make him a house? How are you going to serve Allah? But Allah is providing everything for us. And he's not asking for anything in return except that we say shukur. So who is serving who? You're saying you love Allah, is it okay to expect love in return? That means you don't understand what love is too. You don't understand who is the creator of love? Who put that in? One day you wake up, you go through certain experience and you say, I love my Lord. But your Lord has been in love with you since the day of promises. But you forget that day when you pledge your love to Allah. And Allah is saying continuously since the day of promises, Am I not your Lord? Since that day up till today, he is continuously, until we pass, question is continuously being said, am I not your Lord? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is coming down to the first level of paradise. First level. Every last third of the night to mankind to say, where are you? I am here. Just yesterday you found some feelings for Allah and you are saying, is it okay to expect love in return? So what is your understanding? I give you some, you give me some. When you're talking about this is what it is <laughs> in the dunya love, I give you some, you must give me some. So your understanding of love, it has not made any progress. It is no higher now. It is not a high love. But the time when you think you love Allah and you want to expect some love, Allah has never forgotten you. And he has sent you his best. And he has given you the best. So if you're thinking that he has not given you anything since you love him, there is a blindness that is covering you. Because you cannot put a price on one breath of air. You cannot put a price on one eye. You cannot put a price on the shahadat that he has given you. You cannot put a price 
we cannot even put a value to being a part of this Ummati Muhammad. Can you? What else do you want? So what do you want? What kind of love do you expect? What kind of love do you give? How do you love him? Let me ask you that. How you love? To say I love you crying every night? To say I love you? So what do you do? Oh, I pray, I do this, I do that. How many sohbets we are going to give? You are no better than Musa alayhi salam. Going up and to say, I love you, Ya Rabbi. What can I do for you? And Allah is saying, What have you done for me to show your love? I pray, Ya Rabbi, that prayer it is for you. I fast. That fast is for your safety and your protection. I give zakat, I go to the hajj, I did everything. Is it still for you? So now there is a criterion for the love of Allah. We talked about that earlier. Now let me bring Musa alayhi salam in. And Allah is saying what? Love whom I love. And leave those that I leave. Today in the name of love, they love both haq and batil. Haq people they love and batil people they say we don't judge, we also love. That is exactly what Dajjal wants. That is exactly a fitna of Dajjal. That is exactly the confusion. You cannot love evil. It is wrong. You are not going to say, I am better than that evil. I have that evil inside of me is what you're supposed to say. But you are not going to say, I have that evil inside of me, so I must love the evil too. And some say, we love shaitan, Muslims. MashaAllah, you're going to be with him. You're going to be whoever that you are in love with, you're going to be with them. And now what we spoke about earlier, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a criterion to his love. And that is the criterion to his love. That is the divine criterion. That is the criterion of the love of the Prophet. That is the criterion of the love of the Allah. Say to them, Ya Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, If you love Allah, you must love me and obey me for Allah to love you. This is what you need to do. Otherwise, that feeling, that high that you get, you can go to pharmacy, get a couple of pills, pop it, and get that same feeling too. Look to how the prophets, how the friends of Allah are. And their love comes from the satisfaction that their Lord is happy with them. It is a very big subject. When people are ready, we may open it properly. Now, we're just touching a little bit to understand. How many times must we say, the man came to the Prophet wasalam, saying, Ya Rasulullah, I love you. And the Prophet said, prepare yourself for hardship. Are you ready for that kind of love? Or are you understanding that kind of love? I love you, you must give me candy. I love you, you must give me candy. I love you. Why are you not giving me candy? Can be candy. Can be anything that you want. Astaghfirullah uh, yeah. Tubulay. I'm a very weak servant to Allah. I cannot say I offer him my love because this is very corrupted with so many things. I'm just going to concentrate on trying to do things properly. Our prayers are corrupted. Our fasting is corrupted. Everything that we're doing, it is corrupted. 
it's not worth to be sent to divine presence. But let me put my weak service together with the service of those ones that Allah is pleased with them and that they are pleased with Allah and Allah may, for the sake of those ones, overlook all my shortcomings and accept it too. This is tawassul. This is shafaat. Don't go alone in your love to Allah. That is also ego. Wa min Allahu tafikal fatihah.